Scott Heron. Now, Gil Scott Heron is the one who, he was doing rap before hip-hop. He was rapping about Whitey on the moon. A rat done bit my sister Nell, but Whitey's on the moon. He also said the revolution will not be televised. And he also said each one reach one, each one try and teach one. And it's in that spirit, I hope you will indulge me. So, I'm just getting back into comedy because I uh, retired a few years ago. Actually, that's not the word for it. I quit. I gave up because I bombed really badly on the stage. How bad did you bomb? I bombed so badly <laughs> that I was getting condolence letters from around the world. Places as far away as Nagasaki, Japan. Dresden, Germany. Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> Now, those of you who don't know why Tulsa goes in the list of, of places that have been bombed, for some reason we were not taught in high school or college or anywhere that the first Americans that were ever bombed from an airplane were the black folks of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the first people, first Americans who ever bombed someone from an airplane were the white residents of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that's why I got back into comedy. Because I want to meet the big black luminary comedians, Wanda Sykes and Dave Chappelle, and I want their permission to call those white flying honkies the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> because if they're the N-word, the folks on the ground can't be. Now the folks on the ground, 40 years after slavery, rebuilt an entire society, which is why Whitey bombed them. But I don't want to call them Whitey. I don't want to call them the N-word, because if they're the N-word, the folks on the ground can't be. They just can't be. And that's it, just them. I just want to call them the N-word, just them. And my father. Now, you should know that my father has been cheating on my mother since before I was born, because he's a I had to drop out of college my senior year because he stole my life savings to buy himself a new car to celebrate his seventh year not working. Because he's a My mother had to stop breastfeeding me because he gave her mono that he got from his girlfriend. Five months old, I got titty blocked by my own father. <laughs> Why? Because he's a nigga. You should know that my son is black and my granddaughters are black. And I don't want to live in a world where racists have a word that they can use to say my granddaughters are three-fifths of a human. Words change all the time. Dumb used to mean someone who couldn't talk. Now it means someone you wish couldn't talk. So all I want is for us all agree that my lazy, thieving, cheating father is the N-word. Because if we can all agree that he's the N-word, my granddaughters can't be. Thank you.
I just want to say, he can't be a racist because he has a black son <laughs> and black grandchildren. We love you. All right, next up, we got. Can't be. <laughs> 